Hi everyone, I'm Ms. S from Codespeak Labs and in this video, I'm going to guide you through how to make your own virtual cookie app using JavaScript. So on my screen here, I have a demo so that you can see what a finished project looks like. All right, when I click play, I am able to take a bite out of any of these cookies that I want. All right, so today we are going to be using coordinates and variables as well as functions to put this whole thing together and create our own virtual cookie app. Let's begin. So I'm going to go to the Bitsbox home screen right here, and I'm going to create a new app, then invent your own app. And here we are. So first thing I'm going to do is rename this to virtual cookie. And every time you make a change, you can save whatever changes you made by clicking on the play button. All right, let's begin. So first thing we're going to do is create a variable called size. And this is going to tell Bitsbox how big we want our cookies to be. So we're going to be using this variable in many places. So since we're going to be using size in many places, it's much easier to change the value for size in one place than to change it in a bunch of different places. And that's part of why we love variables, because they're super convenient like that. All right. Next thing we're going to do is get our first cookie by using the stamp command. And then after we type out the cookie name that we're going to use, we want to add in the location we want that cookie to spawn. And to figure out that location, we are going to use the coordinates from the Bitsbox app screen. Whenever I move my mouse, you can see those numbers X and Y pop up here. And those numbers change as I move my mouse. All right, so let's pause for a moment and discuss what we notice about these numbers here as I move my mouse. And how they change, what, they, what, what you think they mean, etc. We'll group back up in just a second. All right, after our discussion, I hope that we all found that the numbers start at 00, zero here in the top left corner, and the numbers get larger as we move away from that area here. Now, X is concerned with our location from left to right, and Y is concerned with our up and down location here. Now we had four cookies in each corner, so I'm going to move my mouse where I want that first cookie to be. And you don't have to type the exact numbers that you see, you can always round up a little. And I like to make my numbers nice, even fives. Um, so I'm gonna do 125, comma, 125. And when we type out these numbers here, X comes first, and then it's Y. Then after I type X and Y, next I'm going to add in size. So now I can see my cookie with a cord coordinates 125 comma 125, and my cookie is a size 400. All right, next we're going to add our second cookie. Now, our second cookie was in the other corner here, and it was at the same level of our first one, up and down wise. So, our cookie is going to have the same Y value. For this one, I'm gonna do cookie two. And we know, we know that Y was gonna be the same, but not X. See, 
our y is pretty much the same number when we move left to right, but our x will change. And our x is going to be, let's do 625. And our same y, size. And we can see our two cookies here. All right. So next we're going to add our third cookie down in the bottom left corner. And for this one, I'm gonna do cookie eight. Now I want you to pause again, and I want to see if you can determine what X and Y values we should use for our cookie in the bottom left corner. All right. So after some discussion, your numbers might be a little bit different, but same ballpark is okay. So since we are going to be in the same location as our first cookie from left to right, we know we can use the same X, but since we're in a different place up and down wise, we're gonna have a different Y value. And I'm going to go with 825. Again, same ballpark is okay, but we just want to have similar numbers. So now when I click the play button, my third cookie spawns in that bottom left corner. All right, so next we're gonna add our fourth cookie. And for this, I'm going to try cookie 12. I don't know what cookie 12 is. I'm just gonna try it out to see if I like it. And then we are going to add again, we're gonna repeat some numbers here. So we know we're at the same level for Y, so we can reuse that same Y, and then our number for X is gonna be different. But, oh, look at that. It's going to line up with our second cookie, left to right. So we can reuse this number here, that's 625. I'm gonna do 625. And we know we're at the same level again, up and down with our third cookie here. So I can just do 25 and I don't have to think too hard about that one. And we're gonna add in our size and click play. So I have an animal cracker here, not totally fitting on the screen. So let's do cookie one. Okay, cookie one looks like an animated cookie. Like cookie nut. Okay. All right. So now we have our four cookies and they're all in the right place. They're all a size of 400. Now let's work on taking a bite out of these things. So to do that, we are going to be using a function. Now functions are special because they allow us to carry out certain tasks every time we call on them. So um, for example, your brain, think of your brain like a computer and think of a function like when you tie your shoes, for example. So every time you need to tie your shoes, your brain, the computer calls on that function to do it. So it's going to work like that. And we're going to create a function called tap. And we are going to type in the curly braces for our function first so that we don't forget them. If you can't find these on your keyboard, ask a grown up for help. Or if you're looking right at your keyboard now, it's next to the P key and the enter key. All right. Once we have our curly braces and our function set up, we're ready to get that byte. So now we're gonna type stamp command, and then the stamp we're gonna use is called byte. Now we took a byte on the screen wherever we clicked. And to do that, we are going to use X and Y instead of regular numbers. The reason why is because 
bits box will know where our mouse is and we can't always predict what those numbers are going to be. So bits box can figure that out for us by using X and Y as the placeholders and we're pretty much set. Then after we go to X and Y, we're going to make our byte size 100. And we're going to make a chomp sound. So now putting all of this together, we have made a virtual cookie app where we can take a bite of the different All right, so you have made your very own virtual cookie app. All right, this video was brought to you by CodeSpeak Labs. Again, my name is Miss S. I hope you had a good time today. Thank you.